guys i am aditya pawar i am 12 years old now this is the uh, micro courses from my playlist so i have made the first video and this is the second video which i am going to tell you about black holes so if you didn't watch my first video link in the description below please watch the uh, first video because every video and every information i tell you is very much important is like very much important if you what to study it so now come to our third question so what is our third question so the third question is how to detect black holes so my friends how to detect black holes we all have this problem that how did astrophysicists do this how did that astronomer do this how did that physicist do this so that is nothing but because of the black holes uh, at the surface of the black hole what we call it as schwarzschild radius i am writing the spelling schwarzschild radius so this is schwarzschild radius which uh, which was invented by an astron a physicist karl schwarz child by the physicist himself his name is over here also schwarzschild radius which was explaining that this a black hole imagine this is a black hole and the boundary the boundary of this a black hole was to calculate it now how would we calculate a boundary so just like we do in circles just like we do in circles that we calculate 2 pi r so we have to, uh, we have to calculate the pi 3.141 so and then onward we have to do like that so just like this this is also a circle but this is in astrophysics we are studying astrophysics plus physics and astronomy so this is this is very much like astrophysics so in this we have taken a circle but we have to use this law to represent it which is schwarzschild radius so i will only give you a clue that how it is measured or i will only give you a presence of it and insight of it because this is a beginners level lecture so we take the center point of a black hole which is called a uh, which is called a singularity we take which is called a singularity and this is the middle point of a black hole so we take this point and a one more point at the edge of the black hole so from this point this is the middle point i give it as m i give it as m okay i give it as m and at this point i get f sorry this is radius radius i give it as radius r small r so this is the whole radius and this is the whole diameter of the black hole but now because of the hawking radiation i will uh, teach you that in for, uh, some further lectures so please be uh, please be uh, please try to be continue with me until the end of this series so we take from here to here and this is the radius of the black hole and the, that is the diameter but including to hawking radiation that means black hole have taken a lot of time to get something because it uh, it is like a monster it eats everything it sucks up everything everything around the region of the black hole the region where the black hole is located it sucks up everything inside it like this it sucks up everything so the region where the black hole is so uh, that uh, that's why this is the main region that's why the astrophysicist gets how to detect a black hole so 
there is a phenomenon called gravitational lensing gravitational lensing so this is the phenomenon remember this phenomenon so this is the phenomenon behind the uh, detection of black hole how the black hole is formed and uh, this is uh, according then gravitational lensing we detect black holes but now the hawking radiation according to hawking radiation the black hole gets more filled just like we uh, we do in star uh, the star is going uh, the star is burning up any fuel because it has born from the early age from the nebula and it is burning burning it is growing up the age of the star is also growing up and the uh, elements are also growing up so when it was a baby it was producing lot of energy fast 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 lot of energy then in the middle age it was also producing energy but in some slow rate slow rate then the earlier one just like uh, black hole do when they are born they suck in uh, direct lots of energy in them but then in the middle age this sucks up uh, energy but at a smaller than rate the uh, than the first then in the third when they are old they give uh, this is the if you originalize what i have said in the first lecture so please watch my first lecture so i have said that the star which is this size imagine the star is the, uh, is this size then evaporate because of the sorry evaporate ne no evaporate evaporation sorry it condenses into sm uh, smaller because uh, the heavier elements so what are the heavier elements uh, write in the comment section below so that i can predict you have understand it so because of the heavier elements the star uh, goes uh, goes inwards because of the gravity see only remember this for a while okay okay so a star we take a star then it is uh, now the star is old so because of the gravity this uh, this is outward pressure which is putting it inside this is gravity all the way there are gravity which is immense for the star when it is at old age so this is gravity from all around and but imagine uh, but in the core there are elements producing so when the star was young when the star was young very much then the uh, the core of the star produced more elements which give a counter uh, counter back reaction their self sustaining the star sustaining the star which is acceptable so the star was like contracting and uh, contracting growing contracting growing like that only like when we exhale and inhale when we inhale and exhale when we inhale we take care like uh, in the star form we are growing but when we exhale we give out air so that in the form we are losing energy as supposed to gravity so now so now suppose to this uh, that the core is uh, going energy giving energy off but when the star turns old when the star turns old not much happen just a few minor incidents look at this the pressure which was inserted from the outside was getting lower because of the age of the star the old the star is getting lower and the outside pressure goes going up going up going up the outside pressure grows but the inside pressure reduces that's the calling then the star at uh, star is at this type so the star is at giant 
then the star condenses and becomes at this rate then the fuel is uh, fuel is over then there is no internal force to the star to hold up its core and to sustain life sorry sustain life no to live to live sorry so when the star had used its full energy when there is no energy in the star when there is no fuel in the star we are uh, just like uh, take an example of car so there is if there is no fuel in car we go it and fill it up fully but in this uh, in this system we don't have to uh, we don't have the option of filling we only have the option of death so the born to death like this so there is outward pressure only first there was inward pressure which was eternal pressure so it was uh, pulling and sustaining the whole star but now there is no pressure over here in internal pressure so the outside pressure is more and therefore the outside pressure compromises the star to a certain radius which we call uh, which i have called it what we d what do we call it in white dwarfs the certain radius to become a black hole certain radius to become a black hole so answer me in the comment section this is your question so answer me this in comment section what, uh, what, what is the normal certain radius of white dwarf to become a black hole so now there is no radio uh, so the uh, now there is no pressure in inside the outward pressure unleashes the pressure inside and in self contracting the star into a certain radius tell me in comments what does it call so a certain radius where there is no light it could escape and it becomes denser because of the heavier elements i have told us before what are the heavier elements deuterium deuterium lithium and etc so these are the heavy elements which make the core heavy intensely heavy that's why black holes are heavy in size so now we have also understand how to detect black holes and i also tell you about schwarzschild radius now in the next we will going to do now in the next we are going to do to, uh, to talk about the hawking radiation in more expl uh, explain explanatory So now guys the uh, the th I am told the second one that how to detect black holes now in the third uh, third lecture in the third video I am going to tell about hawking radiation so please be with there and the uh, pers uh, and the people who don't have seen this video please see this video like this video dislike this video anything sh uh, and comment this video share this video because it has lots of efforts it has lots of effort so Please uh, subscribe to my channel. My channel's name is Aditya Pawar Space and Science Channel. So please subscribe to this channel and then uh, get the odd notifications to all. And the people who are, uh, who have not seen this video, see the first video and the second video both. So bye. That's for all. I am Aditya Pawar, age 12, hosting. Bye.